If you're that worried about Flynn, would you rather leave now? It's just... I've got to say a proper goodbye to Rita. Then take it easy. What are you going to do after this, Yuri? I guess I'll go pay a visit to the guy behind all this core stealing. It sounds like Dedeki ended up going to the same place, too. In that case, we should make a beeline for Nor Harbor. Didn't he say Torum Harbor? Oh, right. You don't know. Don't know what? Nor and Torum are both ports of a city that extend across two different continents. On the Elikian side, where we are now, is the port of Capua Nor. People call it Nor Harbor. Capua Torum is the port on the other side, on the Tolbikian continent. It's usually just called Torum Harbor. So first we'll go to Nor Harbor. We'll have to pass by Emmied Hill on the way, but it's not that far west from here. I'll be going back to Halor. I still need to follow Flynn. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll head back to Halur, too. Huh? Why? How can you just say that? The thief's gonna get away! There's no reason to panic. According to our friend in the ruins, it sounds like his client's base there. Besides, if we're going west, that'll take us close to Halur. Oh, man! But I... You gotta be somewhere? A sick girlfriend with an incurable disease or something? Man, if only she really was a frail girl like that. I know I asked you to wait for me, but you sure made yourselves at home, didn't you? Oh, welcome back. What ended up happening to the thief? He's probably crying quietly to himself in his cell by now. Sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> what a heartfelt apology. I'll take it, though. It worked out pretty well for me, too. Rita? Well, thanks for the hospitality. What? Going so soon? We don't want to overstay our welcome. Plus, we're in a bit of a hurry. I'm so happy to have met you, Rita. I'm afraid we have to go now. I'll thank you properly later. Okay. So tell me about this frail girlfriend of yours, Carol. What? The reason you want to go to Nor Harper is so you can see her, isn't it? H how do you know about her? I knew it! No! I mean, she's not even in Nor Harbor. Oh, it's not Nor Harbor? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You might as well come clean, Carol. It's obvious Estelle's not going to give up. You've got it all wrong! Carol! If you're seeing us off, we'll say goodbye here. I'm going with you. You're doing what? Oh, so this is why you told us not to leave without saying goodbye, huh? Yeah. Is that it? Just yeah? Can you just leave like that? You're an important mage here, right? Hmm. I want to see Halor's Barrier Blastia for myself. It's no good to the people if it's broken, right? Actually, the three of us fixed it together! Huh? 
What do you mean you fixed it? You're just amateurs. You know, we revived it. It was great. Let's just Estelle... say it was beginner's luck. Now I'm really worried. I'll have to go see if it's been done properly or not. Suit yourself. What? I've never had a real friend my own age before. I'm not so sure we're... This is gonna be so much fun! Yeah. When we left the capital, it was just me repeating Estelle. Now Carol and Rita have joined us. I'm so happy to have more people to travel with. I'm not so sure about some people in our party, though. I'm not so sure about you, you little runt. Hey, now. Go easy on the young captain. Rita, we all have to work to get along, okay? Oh, yeah. Right. Don't get careless. Drag it up! Put out your hand! Like this? Yay! What, what was that? Sorry if I hurt you! You're done already? Hey! The tree's already blooming? <laughs> I told you! We brought the tree back to life! Oh, you've returned, just as the knight said. Um, do you mean Flynn? Unfortunately, you just missed him. No way! Not again! He was quite surprised that the barrier had been fixed. Um, would you happen to know which way he went? N no, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know. However, he did entrust me with a letter. Wh what? A wanted poster? W why? I guess I made a little too much mischief. What kind of mischief gets you into this? It's my fault. Oh, come on! Only 5,000 gold? <sighs> That's way too high for just breaking out of jail! You must have done something else! So, what does the letter say? I'm going to Nor Harbor. Catch up with me. Catch up with me, huh? Easy for him to say. He also writes that we should watch out for assassins. Well, he even knows we're being hunted. Sounds like this guy knows what he's doing. Looks like we have some dangerous people after us now. What are you gonna do? 
Um... I'm going to go to Nor Harbor. I could pass on a message for you if you want. But... I... Think about what you want to do. I'm gonna go make sure Rita isn't causing too much trouble. Anything like this. The flowers are in full bloom, even though it's not the season for it, and the barrier's strong too. Did Estelis really do this? What do you mean? Carol let it slip when we were leaving Ospio. You tried to change the subject, but it was too late. Guess I blew that one. We may just have nothing even remotely like she has. So you just decided to come with us to eliminate the competition? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! I have a formula that I have to work out. A formula? What do you mean? It's nothing. <laughs> Forget about it. So what did you want? You came here for something, right? Well, that just took care of about half of it. So, what's the other half? You said that it's easy working with Blastia because they never betray you. Yeah, so? You and Estelle are both human. You're not Blastia. Oh, I get it. You're worried for her. Worried I might hurt her. Estelle's honest. Good. Unlike you or me. I'm just saying, don't do anything reckless. Come on, let's go back. Carol and Estelle are waiting for us. I finally found the clue I was looking for. I want to be all kinds of reckless. Wow, I've never seen this many flowers on Halur's tree before. Huh? Doesn't it always get like that when the flowers are in season? In season or out, I've never seen all the buds blooming at once like this. Really? Guess we're lucky to get to see something so amazing. I'd say it's more abnormal than amazing.
Now come back with us while you can! I say, we've come to courteously escort you back to the capital. And then we can clamp Yuri in chains where he belongs! I've been waiting for you, Yuri Lowell! Don't you move a muscle! Jeez, this guy never lets up, does he? An old acquaintance you may be, but today I can overlook your transgressions no longer! Yuri isn't a bad person. I asked him to go with me. Yeah, Yuri, you ruffian! You're coercing Lady Astelis! No! This is what I really want! I'll go back to the castle. Just leave me be for a little longer. I cannot allow that! Return to the castle with us! I can't go back. Please understand this. We have no choice. We'll have to apprehend the criminal as well. your freedom goodbye, for it ends today! I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting art, the Overlimit! The Overlimit doesn't belong to the Knights. Anyone can do it last time I checked. I say be quiet! Yuri, what's an Overlimit? It's a technique to increase your abilities while fighting. How do you do it again? You fool! How could you forget something like that? I say I shall jog your memory. But after that, I say I shall give you a non-stop ticket on the train of death! First, attack! Curse you! Yeah! Attack! Attack! Alright, you attack the enemy and that raises your battle spirit. Blast! Your hits are not connecting at all! Ouch! I say that hurt! Cannot I say stand this any longer? Oh yeah, your battle spirit goes up if you're attacked too. Alright, and then if you release the battle spirit that you've stored up, I'll blow you away! That's enough for today! Wow! Yuri, that's amazing! We mustn't let his power charge up anymore! I've got you just where I want you. Nice work, men. I'm sorry. I can't go back. Ugh. What a shame. Uh, Rita! She says she's not going back, so get lost. Yuri! It's them again! Damn it! I knew they were still after us. What is it this time? W 
What do you mean? I'll explain later. Carol, which way is Nor Harbor? Uh, uh, it's west, west! You go over a meat hill, and Kapua Nor is right there. All right, let's go now then. But I can't. Ah, uh, make a decision. Which do you really want to do? Keep traveling with us or go home? I'm going to keep traveling. A wise choice, and one that those knights surely wouldn't be able to agree with. Imperial Knight Point One. With this sword, I shall protect the people, wasn't it? Indeed! Come on, boys! Let's show them what the Imperial Knights are made of! I'm sorry. Isn't it hard to use a weapon that large, Carol? It's a little heavy, but I need to hold something large like this to make myself look bigger. That's just the right trick to hide your minuscule size. Ah, you want to look bigger to fool the enemies. Now that you mention it, small monsters often puff themselves up to appear more menacing. Right, it's just like... Huh? Are you saying I'm the same as a monster? Even so, changing your appearance doesn't change who you really are, Carol. Are you dangerous? Tell us right now if you are. It's okay. I'm an elite hunting blade. There's nothing to worry about. I hope that's not another one of your clever tricks. Done. So this is Emmied Hill? Yeah, but... gone you mean there was a barrier here there was when I came before sort of a waste to have a barrier in a place with no people if you ask me are you sure you aren't mistaken I'm pretty familiar with the barrier locations but here you just haven't heard about this one Nan told me it was only put here recently who is Nan, Carol? Huh? Uh, she's... Uh, you know, she's just a friend from my guild. I I'm gonna go see if I can find anything out. I think I'll have a look myself. Alright, never mind us, guys. I'm not gonna go look for them if they get lost. Shall we, Yuri? Hey, hey, no outsiders allowed! Let me through! I'm Rita Mordio of the Imperial Blastia Research Laboratory. Oh, you're a mage from Ospio. Excuse me. Oh, but you can't just do as you please. Let me go and ask the... <laughs> I could use some of her attitude. I think you have... 
have plenty already. Hey, listen to this! It was like BAM! A spear went thunk, the Blastio went bang, and he flew off into the sky like whoosh! Who did what? How? Huh? Someone riding a flying dragon threw a giant spear at the Blastia and then just flew off! A human riding a dragon? No way. I've never heard of anything like that before. That's what I thought too, but a bunch of people here saw it happen. They say it was a dragon rider. A dragon rider? <laughs> well, the world's just full of surprises. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Let me go! There she goes again! Something is definitely strange with this Blastia formula. There's nothing strange at all! Perhaps you are... Just who do you think I am? I'm well aware of who you are. The famed genius mage, correct? But surely there are some formulas that even you aren't familiar with. You can't use a weird formula like this. Think of the poor Blastia. Hey, stop gawking and help us catch her! Fire! Hey! Fire! What's with that kid? A fire? I don't hear anything or smell anything. Hey, you little liar! Crap! They caught on that fast? Hey! You were with that kid! Wait a minute! You! There's a warrant for your... It's now or never. Ugh, you little... Hey, wait! I'm sorry. Hey, stop goofing off and help catch that kid! Damn! Looks like we lost him. <sighs> Rita, you should really think more before you act. <sighs> that barrier blessed here was just so strange. I couldn't help myself. Strange? Something fishy about it? I have a feeling that may be an understatement. <laughs> Well, our hands are already full as it is, so could you please keep us out of it? It doesn't concern you, regardless. Yuri Lowell! Where have you run off to now? Hey, Mr. Famous. Sounds like you've got a fan out there. Again? Well, that gives a new meaning to the word workaholic. Lady Esteles, I say, do come out of hiding. You guys have a lot of problems. Just who are you, anyway? Um, well, I'm... Yuri, come out, come out, wherever you are! You can talk about that later. Don't frighten 
us like that. Anyway, let's get our butts to Nor Harbor before things get any more complicated. Which way were we supposed to go again? Let's see. As the crow flies... Isn't this a beast trail? <laughs> Can we really go through here? We'll go as far as we can at least. I don't want to get captured again. We'll need to be on the lookout for monsters then. Eh, what are one or two monsters to the brave Captain Carol? Yeah, that's right. Though if the barrier were up, we wouldn't have to worry about monsters at all. Oh, I can't stand it. Why does some idiot have to go around breaking Blastia and making our lives difficult? Hey, Estelle. I noticed you keep looking in my direction. What's up? You don't mind if I ask? All right. Well then, here goes. This man. Are you in love with her? <coughs> Nan is a girl's name, right? Is she the girl you wanted to show Halur's flowers to? Ah, no! No, no! You got it all wrong! I do? Man, she'd be so angry if she heard you say that. Carol, good luck with her! I'm rooting for you! Uh, yeah. Well, thanks. That's encouraging. I didn't know flowers like this grew in the mountains. Rita, don't touch it! Inhaling Billy Bolly leaf pollen can lead to vertigo and strong feelings of exhaustion. Hmm. Hey! What are you- Whoops, sorry. Carol, are you okay? You're interested in healing arts? Nah. It's no use. Healing arts don't work on this. We'll just have to wait until he recovers naturally. How long will that take? Carol, be strong. Ugh, Rita, you're terrible. I said I was sorry. If you're all right, then let's go. Let's be careful to stay away from the Billy Bolly Lee from now on, okay? Man, some people have some weird hobbies. I mean, who goes around destroying Blastia? I wouldn't really call that a hobby. If we ever come across whoever's doing this, I'll destroy him! But what if he has some reason for what he's doing? They can have any reason they want. Destroying Blastia is unforgivable. Period. No! My, my neck! My neck! No! No! Help me, Yuri! Eh, that'd take effort. Just play nice with each other, kids. Estelle! Um, do your best, Carol. I'm gonna make you work! Blastia of yours. It's pretty, huh? That's not what I was gonna say. I just keep getting stronger!
Poppy. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Red eyes, nights... Why can't we just have a nice, fun, relaxing trip? You're one to complain, Yuri. Yeah, weren't those knights calling your name? But you're the one who was fighting with the mages, Rita. Please, everyone, we're okay, aren't we? I actually think it's kind of fun. If you think being chased is fun, you're gonna love the rest of this trip. Yeah, you may have written off what just happened, but we're still fugitives! That was a pretty big commotion over breaking a single barrier, Blastia. I don't know. It seemed like the commotion Rita caused was even bigger. Stop bringing up trivial details! Of course people would be upset. It was a barrier, Blastia. Blastia are intertwined with almost every aspect of people's daily lives. Good point. Things got really crazy back in the lower quarter when the Aqua Blastia broke. I hope they can fix it soon. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going through all this for. Like an easy win. Let me at him! Destruction field! Alright, who's next? Destruction field! Destruction! First aid! Destruction! This? No, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Let's work together! 
We're done. Thank you. 
than personal. Destruction field! I'll blow you away! Destruction field! Rest in peace. Hmm. Okay, sure. go back and try to attack Halur again. But Halur has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halur supposed to sleep at night when beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? Blow you away! This is dangerous! 
Flaming Blaze, burn! Fireball! Oh, no. Not your weak spot! Ha! Ha! Let them die undefiled purity! Ha! Watch out! This one's tough! Ha! Ha! First hit! Think! Think before you use your arts! Oh yeah! Oops! Flickering blaze! Burn! Fireball! Hey! They were never heard from again. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Destruction field! Protection! Destruction field! Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Don't get in my way! Guess I overdid it. Who's next? Huh. 
I got a little worked up. Survivor, huh? If we leave it here, it'll surely go back and try to attack Halora again. But Halora has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halora supposed to sleep at night when beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? Splash! Ha! Ha! Dragon Ops! 
<laughs> that was easy. Now Halor is safe as well. I hope so. What the heck? It, it hardly put up a fight! But there could be a dozen more just around the corner. No worries! Seriously! Well, let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from. before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things, like the jungle or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn, if only our journey would continue. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. That's a rare moment of sincerity coming from you. It's your first time seeing it too, right? Well, yes, but... Aww, you must have had such a lonely life, tied to your research like that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. This water has traversed the world's oceans and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. Whatever. You were pretty moved back there too. Huh? So this is the world as he sees it. Yuri? Flynn must have stood on this spot earlier and looked out at this same scene. That's true. His duties do take him to many different places. Always telling me to catch up with him. Easy for him to say. is just around the corner from Emmett Hill. We'll catch up to him in no time. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. Huh? What do you mean? All right, let's get moving before LeBlanc and friends show up again. Just follow the ocean road to the west after leaving here to get to Nor Harbor. We can't miss it. We'll have plenty more chances to see the ocean. Your journey will continue for as long as you want. <sighs> it's all up to you. You've made it this far, haven't you?
that's true. Last one down's a rotten egg! You're gonna fall if you don't watch out. Idiot. I hope we'll finally be able to meet Flynn when we get to Nora Harbor. I get the feeling we'll miss him again. He could be passing by the foot of the hill right now, headed back to the capital. But Flynn left us a letter. I'm sure he's waiting for us. We'll see. Why do we have to take such a convoluted path through this place anyway? It's your fault! How was I supposed to help that? Quit blaming other people and let's get moving. Otherwise, we'll end up missing him for sure. Right. Let's hurry to Nor Harbor. Guess we can do this. You want revenge? Bring it! That's nice, but I can do so much more. We're done. Thank you. 
to go to an inn. Oh, that's nice. Now you can go off and play Nature Boy whenever we sleep at an inn. And we'll save money, too. W what are you talking about? Camping sets are single-use only. Rita, don't be so mean. Hmm. That sounds really useful, Carol. Yeah. They're essential when you're on the road. In addition to camping sets, you could also sleep on mats. But camping sets are really the best thing to use. You can't get a better night's sleep with anything else. What wonderful timing. All of you look so exhausted from climbing. You look pretty pooped yourself. Yeah, we've got a ways to go before we get to town, too. Maybe we should set up camp here. All right, I'll get everything set up. Oh, once you've camped somewhere, you won't be able to camp around there for a while afterwards. Why's that? After camping at a certain site, the basic barrier that's included in the camping set will stop being effective for a while, so long as you're near that site. Basic barrier? What's that? There's no Blastia like that. It's not a Blastia, actually. It's just something that gives off a smell that monsters find unpleasant. That's why they call it a barrier. It can keep the monsters at bay for a night. But after enough time passes, the monsters get used to the smell, and it won't keep you safe anymore. Hmm, that makes sense. Well then, we'll leave the set up to you, Carol. Alright, let's set up a camp a little bit further.
Sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked. Estelle, what is it? Oh, I I just thought a harbor town would be more 
lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined it either. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. The decky was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way. It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's all I because of the Empire. What happened to that little brat if you didn't have our money? Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ribgoro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Savages. Is that the sort of scum you were talking about, Carol? Yeah, the Empire's influence is really strong here. I heard things got even worse with the new Magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. But how can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ow! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yuri?
Not over yet. That's my line. I've been looking all over for you. That one was mine too. Huh. That was about to get ugly. All right. doing? Yuri, I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So, be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey, it's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. 
I didn't think when you quit the Knights that you'd take up a life of crime. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I... Uh-oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all... Perfect timing. Flynn! Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelis. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but Flynn, there's something I need to tell you! I'd better go find Carol and Rita. just dragged Estelle right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seemed like they might be in there a while. Want to burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. What is a brat like you doing trying to get in here? Aw, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Whoa. Sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Time to try again. Oops! Hey, hey. You really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? I'm just teaching the Brad a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? Yeah. Wh what? What are you doing? <laughs> now you've got it, done it. Hold up, you you've come this far and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Prepared? Prepared for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Uh, what? Farewell! You brat! Get back here! Damn it! 
the hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy, you better get lost, too. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess Flynn and Estelle should be done talking by now. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh! I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean... I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia core? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh. Whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my- You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. 
We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right.
What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Yuri! These men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. <laughs> Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey! You better watch your mouth, punk! See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But... there must be some other way. Forget it! Let's go! We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? <laughs> Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The Rib Guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the Rib Guru. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Rib Garo? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? The Rib Garo comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Rib Girl now? Uh... Uh... Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's Magistrate. You be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? Say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Rip Garo first.
Thank <laughs> you.